Welcome back to our channel. I'm Susan with Language Tech Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to set up spam filters in Outlook to keep your email really safe. There are several steps to this process, so we've outlined each section in the description below. Simply click on a timestamp to take you to that part of the video. The first thing we want to do is open up our Outlook app and navigate to the Home tab. From the Home tab, we want to find the Delete panel and select the Junk icon. From the drop-down menu, we want to select Junk Email Options. This opens a window with all of Outlook's standard spam filter options. The first of which we're going to look at is no automatic filtering. This is gonna turn off your automatic junk filter without overriding any of the individual blocked and safe senders you've added to this list. Be warned, if you had another filter selected already and select this option, you will turn off any existing spam filters and you will remove the names that you've already set on your junk email filter list. The low filter is a great option if you don't receive many junk emails or you only want to filter out the most obvious examples. Note that selecting this option is going to let some spam emails through, but you can always go through and mark them as spam or block the senders individually. We'll talk about that later in the video. The high filter is going to be best if you receive a lot of junk emails. It's a lot more intense than the first two options, so you will want to periodically check your junk folder to make sure that your regular mail isn't getting caught. Safe lists only is for when you don't want to hear from anyone you don't know. This option is going to move any message from someone not on your safe list directly to your junk mail. You can always go in and remove it from the junk mail and add them to your safe list after the fact. If you'd rather bypass the junk folder and permanently delete spam messages, Outlook does give us this option and you can go ahead and click the box to tell Outlook to delete all suspected junk messages instead of sending them to junk. Be cautious with this option. Since it permanently deletes the message, you won't have the ability to review and restore any regular messages that get caught. Proceed with caution. Outlook also recommends selecting the warn me about suspicious domain names in email addresses option to get warnings from the software whenever they think something is sketchy. Click apply and okay to save your changes. We can improve the efficiency of these filters by teaching Outlook the emails that we consider spam. To do this, select an email and go to the delete panel to select the junk option. From here, we're going to select block sender. This is going to send the email to junk and give us the option of reverting all emails from that same address to junk in the future. If we go to our junk email folder, we'll see that the email has been moved. If this is a mistake, we can go to that same delete panel and select a different option to send it back to our inbox. Selecting not junk, We'll move the message back to our inbox and move the email address back to our safe list. Once we've selected that option, we can see that the message has been moved back and restored. Thanks for watching. We upload new videos weekly, so give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment if you found this video helpful and let us know what videos you'd like to see in the future.